Progressive overload is the holy grail for building muscles. But what exactly is it? In simple terms, it's about gradually increasing the stress placed on your muscles over time. The most common strategy, adding weight. For beginners, at 2.5 kilograms a week might seem small, but that's 140 kilos a year. So don't rush or you will hit a wall quite fast. If you are trained, I would take a relative weight, so 2.5% to 5% depending on your progress the week before. You probably heard of RAR or reps and reserve, or how many reps you think you have left until you fail the weight you are lifting. It's not easy to gauge exactly what your RAR is especially if you're a beginner so i would avoid this if you are new to lifting but let's imagine you're doing 100 kilos on the squats and you're doing six reps and you think that's four rr so you would fail if you did 10. the week after you can attempt to do three rr so seven reps and then eight and then nine and then you can combine that with weight increase so you can start at four rr and then when you reach one rr you add weight and go back to four rr and repeat the process another way to progress is to add sets so each week you increase sets by one i would increase it more than five unless you want to stay in the gym for three hours now you can combine everything for example you're squatting 100 kilos for two sets and the last set is more than two rr then the week after you add a set if it's one or less then you don't change for the week after until you reach five sets and when the last set is more than one rar then you decrease the sets back to two sets and add more weight so you start at 102 instead of 100 then repeat until you get five sets again one last honorable mention here is slow eccentric and adding a pause this has been progressive overload in 100 seconds progressively overload the like button if you want to see more short videos like this one thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one